Hey guys, this is That Snaz, the iPhone guy, and this is a special episode because we're taking a close-up look at the iPhone 3.0 SDK. Now, on March 17th, 2009, two days later now, uh, Apple gave a keynote explaining to developers what was going to be new and what was going to be happening in the new SDK. It's quite phenomenal in my opinion, and I'm very excited for the update. It brings a lot of new features. All right, so we are going to go to an iLounge article written by Jeremy Horowitz, great author, um, great, 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 great guy. All right, so as you can see, uh, this looks a little bit different on the iPhone screen. The SMS bubble is different, and the voice memos is a new application that's given to you by Apple. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Now, the iPhone update is free. Whereas the iPod Touch update is another 995, just like you had to do when you updated to 2.0. This applies to both the first generation and the second generation iPod Touch. Now, you're thinking, why are they still updating the original iPhone? You know what I mean? It's great. But they did leave some features out this time. MMS, or yeah, MMS, multimedia messaging. You can send pictures and stuff. You can do that on the 3G, however, it does not work on the original iPhone as of this today on the iPhone OS 3.0. Expect this around June. It's not coming out for a while, but uh, it will be a big update for sure when it comes. All right, so Spotlight. If you can see that down there, there's a little little magnifying glass. Just like the Spotlight up here on my computer, I can search any file, YouTube, tags. There's my Word document. I keep all my YouTube tags in. Uh, there you go. It's on this on your iPod, on your iPhone, you can search applications, music, contacts, a bunch of crazy stuff, applications, everything. This is like the quick gold I use on my jailbroken iPhone. And one of the reasons I will not go back is because of quick gold. Spotlight is there on the iPhone. And I can only imagine it's awesome. You can search email as they're doing right here. Soft skies, you can see all their email here. You can do different search results, contacts, applications, music, video, podcasts, audiobooks, notes, mail, calendar, everything. Huge. Now this, huge, voila, hooray, widescreen keyboard for all key applications. Wherever there's a text field on the iPhone, turn it sideways and there you go. In notes, in Safari, well, it was in Safari, now it's everywhere. Uh, email, huge one. Uh, SMS, huge one. Cool, cool, cool. There's a demonstration of notes in landscape mode, and there's a demonstration of adding a new contact in uh, landscape mode. They've updated the stocks application, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Next, huge, big, huge. This makes the iPhone a true smartphone. It's been delayed for almost two years. Copy and paste. They found out a way to get it in there without making it too terribly ugly. It actually looks pretty neat to me, but uh, I think that's mainly the main reason uh, they didn't implement it. Someone asked question and answer, why didn't you implement this earlier? And they said for security issues. I don't think so. I think it's because Steve Jobs was under the wheel and he said, no, we're not adding this. This looks like crap. Until you find a good way, we'll not implement it. And that's the way it went. And they finally found a good way that looks nice. You double click your text with your finger, double tap. And this area, this little highlighted area jumps up. Now these are little tabs that you can drag to and fro to select the text you want. So I drag this over to the end of D to do, this is a test note, the quick uh, brown fro fox jumped. And then I'm done. I can cut, I can copy, and then I can also paste from another application into another application. This goes across all applications, not just Apple applications. Cool. All right, so this is an example in Safari. It also does images too. So these little drag wheels right here, you can see uh, you can go in and out, select a block of text, and then I throw it in to my email. There you go, photo of the week. Every single thing is in there. Hyperlinks, uh, images, really cool. Now here we go, voice memos. This is new to iPhone uh, and iPhone 3G, but it is not available on the touch. Now I don't really know why Apple decided to do this all of a sudden. Griffin makes these. There's tons of companies that make voice recorders. And usually they wouldn't get into this market. Um, they wouldn't bundle it for free. I mean, the Griffin notes, that one's actually free, but uh, let's say some voice recording application is a dollar. Apple gets 30 cents of each shell. So I don't know why they would implement this in there. Maybe they didn't like the way it looked. And there were few restrictions. Now here you go. You can see all your recorded memos. You can see the level. You can record. You can send them. 
uh, via email and you can also trim them edit them on your iPhone now as you can see this it's recording you can record almost anything on the iPhone you can record your music you can record an application sound ironic but you can't record phone what anyways so there you go you can't record your you can't record your phone call now iPhone SDK does a bunch of stuff with music it allows developers to play music in the middle of their apps so for instance iChalky, Spawn Illuminati both of the developers said oh man we would love to implement music but the main reason we can't is because Apple hasn't allowed it now they do now you can do it fantastic Bluetooth is unlocked on the iPod touch and it's enhanced on the iPhone 3G you can stream to audio headsets freaking awesome you can transfer files freaking awesome you can do Bluetooth pairing between iPhone to iPhone as we're gonna show you here in a few minutes Dr. Go Wang the developer and uh, the creator of uh, Smule the people who developed uh, Vox Sonic Boom huge one Ocarina uh, they're gonna show you their new application coming up here called Leaf Trombone very very cool application I, I may be interviewing uh, get here in the next few days uh, Dr. Wang here in the next few days on the interview me podcast uh, that's coming along guys if you haven't subscribed uh, the feed will, should be available in iTunes here in the next few days uh, great podcast please subscribe we're getting some really big people on there I mean Dr. Wang is at the Apple events and I'm gonna have him on the show that's cool all right, so you can do online gaming between phones. Very neat. Next, phone and contacts. There's more detailed recent call information. Uh, you can see how the incoming calls, the outgoing calls, how long they are, uh, what time they were. <laughs> One minute, yeah, more like three hours. And uh, you can. Uh, it also supports. Uh, hell, oh, man, I can't speak English today. Uh, VCF files, voice or V card. Uh, files uh, which is sharing your contacts and you can do that right here John Doe Acme uh, Acme widgets Inc share contact there you go and uh, very very neat all right cool uh, next one stocks there's an enhanced stocks application there's news on it there's in-depth stats and when you turn it into landscape it has a more detailed area where you can pinch and grab an area to zoom into very neat App Store there are some new App Store uh, advances now we all know the rating the review was terrible at the beginning people were going on oh, this sucks they haven't even bought the app and they Apple fixed that a while ago you had to purchase and download the app even if it was free you had to download it before you could say it was a piece of crap uh, now let's say I release a terrible terrible app It's the worst thing ever one star and then I, I do an update and it's freaking awesome it hits number one in the charts well it's going to do the latest version rating. So it'll do version 1.0. So the average rating is three stars. If it's version 1.1 and every single rating is five stars, it goes up to an average rating of five stars, and these are canceled out. Now, the screenshot view uh, in the App Store, now you can just slide instead of having to tap it and go through each individual image. Now you just slide. Nice. Uh, YouTube. Now you can log in with your account. You can view your subscriptions, your playlists, your history. Uh, you can rate videos to my understanding very neat photos and camera your camera roll is greatly enhanced you can select multiple photos at a time delete them copy them share them very very nice and this shows you your latest image in the roll instead of the generic three or the generic picture icon kinda nice there's no physical camera enhancement things though mm, kind of a bummer settings there's now shake to shuffle like it came on the nano Great, I love that. That would be awesome when I'm skiing, just skip it in my coat, shake my arm, and uh, I'm into the next track. Um, find my iPod Touch. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, sorry. I want to say like I know what it is, but I'm not absolutely positive. Uh, push based messaging connection to find the whereabouts of a lost device and where it's currently located. That's really cool. Probably only available if you have Mobile Me, but. Hey, I have mobile me, so that's freaking awesome. Uh, now there's more parental controls, more restrictions. Oh, don't let them see location. Turn that off. No explicit music for podcasts, no movies, no TV shows. Only apps that are rated under children's age 9 and below. Very nice. Um, there's new Safari settings. Uh, you can type in your number. I don't really 
know what those screenshots are for. There's more languages, uh, more region formats. Very cool.